Well, what's up, you epic gamers, and welcome back to another Terraria video. <laughs> Anyways, um, I actually wanted to show you something real quick before I get on with today's episode. I felt bad in the last one that I didn't show you guys any of the stuff that we got. Um, these are actually the four main things that I got. There were a few duplicates, but this is like one of every one. So the Mothron wings. Let's see. I can go to about there. And with the Mothron wings. Let's see. Oh, so it's a little higher. Alright, so I think I'm gonna keep those on. Um, also, the Toxic Flask. Psycho Knife. And the Butcher's Chainsaw, which actually does a lot of damage. Wait, does that actually do... Oh my god, it's an actual axe. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay, on with the video. This is actually the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do the solar eclipse because there's a few more things which I wanted to get from it. And then we will continue on with the episode and what I wanted to or what I wanted to do. I know it seems like we've been doing a lot of these lately, but trust me, they're they're really good. Moonstone. I know it seems like we've been doing nothing but solar eclipses lately, but it really is. It's a lot of fun. And I bet there will come a time when I am absolutely sick of solar eclipses and I'm going to want nothing to do with them and the game is going to still give them to me. Yeah. See Moonstone. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Let's see. Yeah, like I said, I'm really just trying to. Really just trying to get a few more things in this one that we weren't able to get from the past few solar eclipses. And the real reason I'm actually doing this, one of the, well not the real reason, but one of the main reasons is because I want... There we go, Mothron. Right on cue. Thank you. There we go! That's what I wanted! The Eye of Cthulhu Yo-Yo. Holy hell, 210 melee damage? Wait. Hang on, let me, let me just favorite that real quick. And the reason I want this is because it has infinite spin. And it is... It, it does an insane amount of damage. Let me just... Eh. Uh, just... Just bring that... Back and forth. Oh my god. <sighs> I swear to god, it's always right when I start recording and right when I'm in the middle of something that my cat comes into my room and he's like, Love me! And I'm like, I can't really give you attention right now because I'm kind of busy. Oh shit! I was petting my cat, I wasn't paying attention, and then it was like... No. Get out, fam. Get out, fam. Terribly. And, and I'm sorry if, if you guys can hear me going in the background, that's me trying to... <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I know in the background you can probably hear me going, Come here, kitty kitty. Really, I'm just trying to call my cat. My god, my sword is going so... Another Ruthless Eye of Cthulhu. You know, the, the only reason I even summoned this event was really for the Eye of Cthulhu. And now that's all it's giving me. It's just... Eye of Cthulhu. Eye of Cthulhu! Creature from the deep. Broken Batwing. I'm pretty sure bat wings are not as good as Mothron wings. Speaking of which, these wings look absolutely, like, epic. Also, Deadly Sphere Staff, you know, wouldn't mind that. Exist. On oh, the range on this one is really good. Um, can, can I get the yo-yo out of it? Uh. I will admit, and believe me, if I could connect a mouse and keyboard, or if I could connect a mouse and keyboard and play Terraria, then I would definitely use that. Nail gun, please. Sir, ma'am, ma'am, nail gun, please. I would like nail gun. So the, the Eye of Cthulhu, those are really the the the, two, the, 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 the thing that I wanted. Please, Deadly Sphere Staff, give me one. Oh wait, I'm- I looked away for like half a second and the, the damn thing just- or my character just kinda fell into the thing. I checked my phone and my character went- It's giving me a break at least. And of course, as soon as I say that... <laughs> I 
How do you like that, Mothra? I'm using your wings against you. Another Eye of Cthulhu. Wow, so the one thing I really wanted last episode, when we were first doing this Plantera, or post-Plantera Eclipse, one thing I really wanted, and now it's giving it to me in very large amounts. My cat had to be let out again. It's like, pick a damn spot. Like, when, whenever I'm recording, I usually like to keep the door to my room closed, because that helps keep some of the sound in, and I really don't need, you know, other people in the house hearing me while I'm doing commentary. So it's, just, it's like kind of annoying, because it's like, you know, I, I, I like to keep the door closed. But then, the, the cat comes in and out every, like, five minutes. And it's like, fucking, pick a spot, it's either in or out. <laughs> Wood Neptune shell, okay, our inventory space is really filling up. Oh, shit. No gun, no gun, no gun. No nail gun. I'm gonna have to check the, the drop percentage. Oh, shit. So as a Mothron and a Vampire, whenever I'm trying- or whenever I get, like, really low on health- God damn it! Whenever I get really low on health, it's always a Mothron and... The merchant died, didn't he? Yeah, Edmund. That was my that was my merchant. Yeah, sure. Just kill the rest of them. I don't mind. Kill all my NPCs. I don't care. I definitely don't need them or anything. I think I know what weapon I'm gonna use for Duke Fishron, and no, it is not gonna be the Death Sickle. No nail gun. I'm telling you, if I could get a nail gun, Duke Fish Run. Or nail gun with a range loadout, then Duke Fish Run would just be just gone. Hey, there we go. 
deadly spear staff. Now, if only I could get a nail gun. I think that's actually the last thing that I need. I think that's the last thing I need is the nail gun. Alright, so that was another 1.3 solar eclipse to start this off. That's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think so far we've done four, although I've done, I think, only three on camera. Let's see. Deadly Sphere Staff. 55 as opposed to 30. Alright, you know what? That's an automatic. Had to do it to him. Pygmy Staff has joined the Obsolete Tools chat. That's not obsolete. Let's see, Deadly Sphere Staff uses 10 mana. I think all of them do. Bro, deadass, why does it look like a little, like, TIE Fighter? Like, everybody's gonna start following me around. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Bruh. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Oh, the beetle with this? Wait, hang on, Where, where's that die? There's almost no difference. I don't know. Let's see, butcher's chainsaw, is there? You know, I've been thinking, instead of having a small basement, I think I'm just gonna create an entire building. Actually, no, I don't think that's necessary. I could get rid of the stairs, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the stairs and then just extend it out with chests. Alright guys, I am back. So anyways, um, I know that the chest room, like, I know I'm probably gonna get a few comments saying, Oh, well, you know, the, 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 it's, the, the chests aren't, you know, all the same color. It's not symmetrical. Shut up, I don't want to hear it. I know that it's not symmetrical, but you know what, it's... At least I have more chests, I guess. I don't know, I, I might fix this part off camera. Okay, so anyways. Solar Eclipse. I got the Eye of Cthulhu. Next, what I'm gonna do, or that I've been wanting to do, is I'm actually going to go into the new hard mode dungeon that spawns. Ooh, I completely forgot. So, oh shit. Oh, okay. Okay, I forgot. So. Apparently, after you defeat Gollum, not Plantera, so after you defeat Gollum, you know, right here, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so these guys actually spawn, uh, the cultists, and I know I already did a video on them, you know, explaining, like, their purpose and all that. Uh, uh, let's see, can I, anything in here? Ah, uh, that's right, yeah, that's, oh, there's my iron bars. Stack. Five platinum coins. Oh no 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 no! Wait a minute. We could do that and then explore the dungeon. Although I am extremely confused as to what it's doing down here. Oh shit! No 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 no! And it's a fake shrine. Wow, okay, so two unlucky things, a fake sword shrine, and Martians are now invading. I think we're gonna have to postpone the exploration of the hard mode dungeon, because I've just found our new calling. Personally, I didn't want to do this yet, but since I couldn't get that probe away... Alright, I have an idea. So if I kind of chill down here, I can get a yo-yo out. It's cool, because this is infinitely spinning, so I can just kind of chill down here forever. Ah, 
Ah, shit. I didn't want to do this yet. I didn't want to do this. Oh, cool. You have such cool stuff. <laughs> Actually, you know what I want to do since he's selling the brick later? I need that. I'll be honest, I really did not want to do this yet. I wanted to hold off at least until Duke Fish Run. Is the traveling merchant not capable of defending himself during a Martian attack? No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna sit down here with a Daedalus Stormbow and just chill. Like, the main reason I didn't want to do this yet is because I am not ready, not by any means. I am not ready for the Martians. I know what you're probably gonna say, oh, why are you just sitting in a corner? Because I don't want to die by this guy. Oh, if he can give me an influx waiver. Cheddar cheese, father. Oh, or a cosmic car key. Yeah, either of those would be really nice. It's like the pirate invasion. It's something that I'm not ready for, and yet I... I have to deal with it because I forgot about the stupid probe. I forgot. <laughs> Actually, no. Technically, that probe wasn't even supposed to be there. Because the, the probe, you're only supposed to be able to find it in space. You're not supposed to be able to find it on the surface. Or hell, even underground. I don't think I've ever found it underground. Ooh, Cosmic Harkin. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me, 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 give me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Martian conduit plating. Hey. Hey, this will make Duke Fish run easier, though.
Back, all right, back in my little hidey corner. Back in the hidey corner. Get in the 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 corner. Oh shit! Get in the corner. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. A gray grunt. <laughs> Bruh, when, when, when you raid Area 51, you find the Terraria aliens. Where's, where's the saucer? Oh my god, did it despawn? Because I went down to the ground too fast. Oh god, no he didn't. Oh, it's a new one. It's like, I know I said I was gonna do the hard mode dungeon last episode, and I know I said I was gonna do it the episode before, but, you know, things have kind of been complicated by Area 51 boys. What the hell? Ah, so there's like a specific hitbox that you need to get. Oh my god, if I had Jester's arrows, I'd probably make this wee bit easier. Oh shit, okay, I never should have left it. Mm. <sighs> you know what? I might have kind of- I, I might have been bitching it out in the hole. In, in, that, in that little hole, but I mean, at least I was alive. I might have been bitching it out, but at least I was alive. Do I still got confusion? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't care how long it takes me to defeat him, I'm going to sit in this hole.
like, I don't care how long it takes to defeat him, I'm going to sit in here, in this box. Surprise Martian event, by the way. I'm like, I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to sit here in this hole until he dies. Because I came out last time and look what happened. Hey, what was that? I can't tell, my inventory's full. Can't you get that thing as a mount, the, the Scutlix? Oh shit. I told you, I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to rot until this damn event is finished and until the saucer is dead.
The Daedalus Stormbow is just not enough against this guy. Maybe it's because the arena is blocking it off. What's that? I can't tell because I'm getting shot from every direction. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze one more saucer in. Alright, I'm not gonna kill anything else until a saucer comes in. Except for this guy, because you're annoying. A Xeno Popper. Range damage. Huh. So it's, it does 49 damage, but it's like a it's like a triple shot. Oh, a saucer. Might want to get him in fucking hole. That's what she said. Influx Weaver, please. Uh, take out the turrets. This is also good to have the Eye of Cthulhu, or a yo-yo with really long range and unlimited spin time, because otherwise, if this thing did not exist...
Another cosmic car key. Hey, get out. Get out. Alright, so that completely was unexpected, but it gave me some cool things out of it. No influx waiver, but I don't think I will be ready to challenge that event again, at least for a while. Um, I should just rename this, like, the bitch corner. Because this is where I shall sit, because I am bitch. Alright. I didn't even think Martian Madness event could spawn underground. Like, I know it spawns after Gollum, but I thought the only place it could spawn was in space. Because, you know, it literally does not spawn anywhere else, but um, apparently um, this little section by the dungeon right here with a fake enchanted sword shrine that's two unlucky things happening in one little spot. Yeah, so anyways, um, I'm going to quick stack and put a few things away, and yeah, I shall join you guys when we are back and ready to explore the hard mode dungeon. Alright guys, anyways, we are back here at the dungeon, and I swear to god if there's another Martian probe, I'm gonna throw a fucking fit. Okay, we're good. Alright, so like I said, the original goal or the original thing I wanted to do was explore the underground dungeon and see some of the new mobs that they got going on down here. Huh, so... Wait, can you not open the chest in hard mode? See, now there's like blue armored bones. Oh, wait, cursed skull. Those things are still here? Oh wait, I don't think it's just the new mobs, I think it's the old ones as well. It's like a combination. Angry bones and cursed skulls. They ain't going nowhere. Stefano the painter, uh uh uh. Sounds very Italian. What the hell? What the fuck? Alright, so anyways, um, there's this thing that I used to do in old playthroughs. Uh, basically, what you gotta do is if you want large amounts of mobs to spawn, you need to pick a large area of the dungeon ectoplasm. Oh, I forgot, there's like the, the, the souls or whatever. Oh yeah, those guys can take you out in one shot. Yeah, if your health is low enough, they can fucking one-shot your ass. Bone Lee! <laughs> Bruh, Jackie Chan. Oh, shadow key. Oh, fuck! Okay, um... Y'all about to, y'all about to get fucked up. Oh, 
Well, if I could get an Azar. Oh, he drops the the Spectre staff. Huh, huh, Spectre. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I don't know, it doesn't have to be like a perfect square. You know, it's it's pretty much it's good enough. Okay, there are so many freaking dudes down here. Hello, sir. Oh my god. Rusty armor bones, bones, oh my god, snails. Oh my god, if I can get, um, what's it called, the Nazar? That would be really cool. Ectoplasm. Ooh, yeah. There's a big red dude. Red man. He's a red man with a red plan. Serum bone spike, golden, or uh. yeah, like a room like this, or, or no, like there, there are there are larger rooms. actually a, a lot of fun and that was really cool because I got I managed to get the paladin um, the, the, the paladin hammer and I managed to defeat the Martian Madness event and I got the cosmic car key for my troubles But yeah, um, 
So yeah, anyways, we did the solar eclipse, um, and we, yeah, we, we did a lot of cool stuff. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy this particular part um, of this series, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Remember, any support to my videos or this series is greatly appreciated. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, comment, like, and sub, and I shall see you all later. Peace out.